A patient has complex spots in their mouth. These spots are most often associated with which disease? A. Strep pharyngitis B. Hand, foot, and mouth C. Measles or D. Chickenpox What's your answer? If you answered C, measles, you are correct. Let's talk about measles. Measles is a virus. It's specifically caused by the Morbilli virus. Now, measles is not a bacteria, so it's not treated with antibiotics. So, unless, of course, there's a secondary infection that is caused from measles. Me measles is usually most commonly seen in the winter and the spring, although we don't see much more measles any, any longer due to the MMR vaccination, which has significantly decreased the incidence of measles in the United States. The MMR is usually given two doses in total throughout a lifetime, the first one 12 to 15 months, and then the second one between four to six years old. Now, per the CDC, one dose of measles vaccine is approximately 93% effective at preventing measles if you're exposed to the virus. If you get two doses, it's approximately 97% effective if you're exposed. As mentioned before, no boosters are needed. You just get those two vaccinations. Now, if you're exposed to someone who has measles, it can take up to 10 to 14 days before you see any signs or symptoms. Uh, sometimes it can happen sooner than this, but that's kind of the approximate. Let's talk a little bit more about these signs and symptoms of measles. The, the question that we talked about, complex spots, this is an early sign of measles. These complex spots are usually, they're small white spots in the, in the buccal or the buccal mucosa in the inner lining of the cheek. Some other signs and symptoms of measles include high fever, runny nose, dry cough, conjunctivitis, corza, and then of course the rash that shows up after a few days after the fever and then also sometimes severe diarrhea as well. Something important to note is a little tip for you, three C's that is associated with measles. We call them three C's because it's corza, conjunctivitis, and cough that is associated with this, along with the high fever and the rash and all the other symptoms we talked about. The final thing I want to talk about is some complications from measles. Even though we don't see measles very often, there still are outbreaks and some of these complications can be life-threatening. Complications such as pneumonia, encephalitis, blindness, ear infection, and croup. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let us know that you want us to make more of these videos. Also, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can get the latest of our videos. And we do appreciate you watching, and make sure to subscribe.